the world of beautiful dance with numbers. This is something. This video we are going to talk about question to see the specific Roman numeral 7 for math 11-10. So the question is saying prove the following identity. So we have got 1 over everything divided by sec x open bracket 1 minus sine x is equal to sec x plus an x. So let me write it on this part of the board. We have got 1 everything divided by sec x 1 minus sin x is equal to sec x plus tan x. We have got this identity. Alright. Same rule. Same rule which we have. Which one looks more complicated? Which one? Which one is very simplified? The right hand side is simplified. This one is also simplified. With the rules of identity, it's easier to take the the complicated side, the side which is not simplified. All right. So let's take the left hand side. So let's take the left hand side. So we say the left hand side. So we have got one everything divided by sec x one minus sine x. So from here, it's just a matter of us first, first of all, multiplying or simplifying our denominator. So we have got one everything divided by sec x times one is what? It's sec x minus. What is sec x times sin x? It's tan x. Now the question is, I know you have got a question. How is it that sec x times sin x is tan x? Very simple. You know that sec x is what? It's 1 over cos x times sin x. You have seen. So 1 times sin x is sin x over cos x. So this is what? It's tan. And we already have a negative, which is this negative minus here. You have seen, right? Okay. I know you have seen. Now from here, what we can do is this. As I said in other videos, as you are solving the identities, as you are enjoying them, make sure that you are referring to your right hand side. So from here, there is no need of us converting this component to, to the basic trig ratios of sine and cos and tan. No. Because the right hand side is having the component of sec and tan and here we have reached at the stage where we are having sec and tan so just know how you can play with it, this without changing it into the simplest trig, trig ratio just know how you can dance with the numbers how you can bring this identity here and there and so from here now the only way we can we can arrive at this stage is for us to introduce the conjugate. The concept of the conjugate must come out. So the conjugate means that the conjugate of the denominator, where, where there is minus, is going to be a positive. So say x plus tan x, everything divided by what? Say x plus tan x, of which we have not altered to the original identity, no. Because this is just one. One times anything is anything. Very simple. So from here, we say 1 times this part is what? It's sec x plus tan x, of which these two is a difference of 2 squared, as we discussed in the previous video. It's a difference of 2 squared. So it means that we have got what? Sec squared x minus tan squared x, of which this difference of 2 squared can be expressed at, as we have got sec x plus tan x like uh, this over okay what I'm going to do is, is is this here let me first simplify my numerator sorry my denominator let's simplify the denominator this component of the denominator because as I said you must believe it to your right hand side we have got this numerator here which is the same component here but what is the denominator what is the denominator Let's check what the denominator is. So let me just take the component of the denominator alone and show it to you that this denominator is actually what? It's actually one. Let me show you. We have got a sec squared x minus tan squared x like this. Of which you know that sec squared x is what? It's one over cos squared x minus this component here. It's tan squared x is the same as what? Sin squared x over cos squared x 
simplifying the trigonometric fraction, we have got the lowest common group of cos squared x, cos squared x, and then 1 minus sine squared x. With their identities, 1 minus sine squared x is what? It's cos squared x over cos squared x, which is what? 1. Because cos over x, cos squared x divided by cos over x is what? It's 1. So mean that our denominator here is just 1. So we are going to say we have got sec x plus tan x divided by what? 1. Of which 1 divided by into the numerator, it's what? It's sec x plus tan x, which is our right hand side. So from here, we can say the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Hence, hence proved. Very, very, very simple. Very, very simple calculations. All right. So in this video, we have discussed question 2C, the specific Roman numeral 7. Make sure that you also enjoy other videos. See you there.